The driver engineer's primary responsibility on the fire ground is to design and operate an efficient water supply system to get water on the fire. This is why the title of engineer was applied to the driver's position. Understanding how these systems are designed and implemented is critical for efficient fire ground operations and helps ensure the safety of crews operating in an IDLH. There are two key elements for effectively pumping to hose lines. Volume, the amount of water moving through the system, and pressure, the force applied to water as it moves through the system. When applied properly, engine crews can operate effective hose streams. However, improper implementation can lead to insufficient fire flow or unmanageable hose streams. In order for the engineer to create an efficient system, they must understand how these two factors work together to move water through their system. First and foremost, they must have a thorough working knowledge of volume capacities of the nozzles carried on their apparatus, as well as the pressure requirements for moving that volume of water through the system. Unfortunately, most of the information regarding calculating pump pressures is not overly exciting. However, it is critical to safe and efficient fire ground operations. When supplying hose lines at a structure fire, the pump operator must answer two key questions. What do I need to get to the nozzle? and how will I get it there? Begin with a goal in mind. While the operator typically operates in the world of pressure, the required volume of water must be the initial goal identified to extinguish the fire. They must then ensure that the appropriate pressure is applied to overcome the friction loss created within the system. Over the next several videos, we will discuss how the volume of water moving through the system determines what pressure you will need to pump. We will then discuss pressure, but more importantly, friction loss, what it is, and how to calculate it. Finally, we will look at how to calculate the required pump discharge pressures to ensure adequate volume is delivered through hose streams.